Hey there, you guys. Happy Friday. How is everyone? Um, you know, I wanted to go live today and talk about something that I get asked about a lot and that I notice, you know, I get stuck, my clients get stuck on how to know what to do next because there's so many choices. There's almost too many choices, you know, and there's hundreds of ways to do your marketing. There's hundreds of ideas out there that you could create and do. So how do you know what to do today? You know, what to, how to plan and how to do things next. Hey, Monique, good to see you. Um, so I just wanted to share a few things that help me kind of to get unstuck and to not get stuck in the first place. And the first and the most important one is to create habits around the activities that you know move your business forward. So for me, that's kind of my daily marketing activities, um, doing my live streams, doing some social media posts, sending my emails, and following up with people. And those are just kind of a habit, things that I do almost every day. So I do take days off, but in general, in about an hour a day, I can get a lot of things done. Um, so yes, I'm great, Monique. I'm having a really good day. I just got done at hot yoga and I'm actually recording this live stream is part of a training that I'm recording for my money maker challenge. So after I record this live stream, I'm doing a screen share for my money maker challenge. People showing everybody how I repurpose all my content and um, and use it. So you'll get that, Monique, because I know that you're in there. Um, so so I create habits, and then it becomes you know not am I going to send an email this week, but what am I going to email about this week, you know? And so and even creating habits of things that you do, um, you know, maybe weekly, they don't all have to be daily habits. Um, but you could just, you know, if you know that you do something every Monday and you know that you do something else every Wednesday, that will help to just keep you to know like, okay, it's Wednesday, so this is what I do. And we won't slip into overthinking, right? So that is one of the biggest things that gets us stuck. Should I do this? Should I do that? Well, you know, over time, as you try different things and test things out, you can come up with your own habits and systems that will keep you moving forward. Um, and the next thing that helps me so much, and it's a little counterintuitive, and that is to take, just take a break. If you, if I don't know what to do next, I don't do anything. I will take a power nap. I like to put um, some meditation music on YouTube. I might just go and just really, really quiet my mind, take a break, get away from screens for a few hours, whatever it is I need to do, go walk my dog. Um, and I will just say, since I don't know what to do, I'm not going to do anything until I know what to do. And I'm telling you, it's usually not an hour or two before I feel like I know what to do again. So to me, feeling stuck is a sign that I need to take a little bit of a break. I need some kind of a reset. And I, I need to, you know, when you move your body, that changes the energy. When you rest, you know, anything you can do to just change the energy and quiet your mind and tune in to the part of you that does know what to do next or to tune in for guidance from you know, a higher power or your higher self or, you know, wherever you feel like your guidance comes from, you know, take the time out to listen. So that is really, really important. Um, but then on the other hand, and at the same time, you know, if I don't know what to do, you know, I can go back and look at um, maybe some ideas I've generated in the past and some things that, you know, maybe are on the list. Is there anything on my list for this week that I haven't done yet? And sometimes that kind of action taking will get me back into the flow of knowing what to do. So sometimes, and you'd really just have to tune into yourself. Is this 
a time when I need to, you know, take that pause and give myself that space? Or should I pick something off my list? And that is just a matter of kind of getting to know yourself in your own energies and trying different things. You know, I mean, sometimes I push through and I, I hammer away at my list and I get a little burnout and I'm like, well, that probably wasn't the best move. So next time I'm going to try to remember if this is how I'm feeling, this is the energy that I'm in to take that little bit of a break. And, you know, it's a pause. It's not a week long break. It's not even usually a 24 hour break, although sometimes we need those. Um, but it's just enough of a pause for me to kind of just realign and recalibrate. Um, so you know, refer, refer to any plans you have. Maybe there's something that you were going to do and you're just not thinking of it right then, right? And then the other way that I know what to do next is I get advice um, from mentors. I have a coach that I can um, connect with on Voxer. I can send her a voice message and just be like, hey, I'm a little stuck. And she might remind me of something we had talked about in our last coaching call. Um, I might save something for a coaching call, but you know what? I'll reach out to somebody that I'm working with that is guiding me. And that might be in a Facebook group post. Um, you know, it could be that you have like a business buddy, somebody that you kind of just talk about business with. And hopefully you do have somebody in your life that you, that you can do that with. Um, and that will often help me to, you know, just get some outside input, a little bit of advice or guidance that might kick off like, oh yeah, that's, I'm going to, I'm going to go in that direction. I'm going to do that. You know, last night I was just listening to a training. Um, it's like a money mindset training and I didn't get an idea directly from the training, but I got an idea from the way she had structured her video series to sell the trading. And I'm like, oh yeah, I might do that for my next launch in mid-March. Maybe I'll do like a, a five day or three day video series on the different topics that are going to be in this new program that I'm launching. So, you know, you can get your ideas sometimes from really unexpected places because I wasn't in, I'm not in that program to, to do business stuff, but it came up. She mentioned it. And, and it gave me a great idea that I can apply to my business. So, you know, just continually reading books and seeking out new ideas from, from outside of you that you can then make your own and, and work on them in your own way. So, um, yeah, those are my go-tos when I get stuck, when I don't know what to do next, because I believe here's a question you can ask as well. If you're kind of, you know, quieting your mind and you take that little break and then you can just, whether you use a journal or you're just kind of chilling out, if you're really feeling stuck, this is a Tony Robbins. I heard it first from Tony Robbins and then I've heard it other places. So I don't know who first came up with it, but you just ask yourself if I did know what to do next, what would I do next? And it's just a little bit of a way to trick your brain. Um, and, and every time you come back with like, well, I don't know if I knew I would know, right? Like we can be really stubborn. Just keep asking yourself, okay, well, if you didn't feel that way and you were feeling confident, what would you do next? And just, you know, wait for it. Cause it's just kind of a way to get out of our habitual thinking and ask ourselves questions in different ways can help us to get, you know, to get unstuck, to know what to do next. Cause there's always a right next step. There's always a right next thing for you. Even if that right next thing is kind of on your path of learning, what doesn't work for you and learning what, how you don't want to market your business. It's all guiding you toward figuring out what is right to you so you can create your um your strategy your um you know daily action steps and figure out your own way that you want to do your marketing that you want to show up and in, in your business and figuring out what works and what doesn't work for you and so that's what most of my programs do or <laughs> aim to do help people do for themselves really is what is what they do is 
they help you to try new things so that you can figure out what works for you. So I never teach or share from a place of here's the steps, do what I do. I say, here are some ideas, here are some possibilities, try them out and see how they feel to you and see what's going to work for you. Like in my um, marketing boot camp, by the end of it, everybody's like, you know what? I love these two or three marketing strategies and I don't love these other ones. Some people love getting out and going to in-person networking meetings and talking to people or setting up a booth at an event. Some people, that's just where they shine. Other people like love the figuring out Google ads or um, doing live streams like I love to do, you know? So it's really just a matter of figuring out what is going to work for you, but there's only one way to figure that out. And that is to try things. So maybe that's, you know, like what to do next. So try something new, right? So, and that's what we're doing right now in the Money Maker Challenge. Um, the very first training in the challenge group, I shared my list. Oh, I don't think I have it right here with me, but I shared my list of 80 ways to market and promote your business. And the Money Maker Challenge is just all about trying new things and trying more things and experiencing the impact of that on your business. And the result should be <laughs> making more money. And I really think it will be for most people. Like, I can't guarantee any results, right? But when you show up more, when you put yourself out there more, when more people see, you know, what you have available for them, it just stands to reason that you'll have more people that take you up on your offers. So it's just that really building that consistency, trying new things and realizing that it's probably a lot easier than you thought. So, um, so the Moneymaker Challenge is going on right now. We are having um, a really good time in the group. I'm really excited about it. I keep adding more bonuses and more trainings. Um, in fact, as I was getting ready to do this live stream right now, I didn't have an idea for it. So I went into my ideas folder and found one and I'm like, oh, I'm going to share my some of my other lists of ideas with the Moneymaker Challenge people so that, you know, if they get stuck, they can they can refer back to that list. So, um, you know, so that's the one thing we can do is kind of pre prepare. Like, obviously, we're going to have days where we don't have an idea. So if we have kind of a list of, hey, here are some ideas for things I could do in the future. I'm just going to keep them in this note on my computer or in this file over here. Then we can reach for those to help us out. It's like doing future you a favor by getting some things organized for those days when, you know, you are a little um, bland. You are a little blah. <laughs> so anyway, that is how. I approach knowing what to do next. I hope that you will check out the Moneymaker Challenge. Check out the link. Tonight is the last night to sign up. I have extended the challenge. So now it's not just a four-week challenge. It's a six-week challenge. That way everybody has time to get in the group, watch the trainings, get um, acclimated with the ideas, and then you can start on day one. So like in the group today, Day one, day two, and day three are posted, but your day one can start whenever you start doing your challenge activities. So let me know if you have any questions about the Moneymaker Challenge. I will be checking for my messages um, today and tonight, but I am taking that offer down first thing in the morning so that everybody in the challenge group so that we can just get to work. So hope you have an amazing rest of your day and a great weekend, and I will see you guys later. Bye.